everyone, welcome to Bowser Training Liquid Solution. If you want the best mock interview experience in North America, feel free to check us out at bowsertraining.org. So we provide the most uh, real mock interviews from all the top uh, interviewers from all these top companies. So today we're going to talk about this problem. Uh, it's supposed to be an easy one. It's called a projection area of 3D shapes. This is just, I randomly pick up this one. And then this problem is so bad described that it took me like, it took me really like 15 minutes to understand what it means. It's really the kind of interview question that I really hate. But anyways, so the problem is, so it's a, like only N times N grid. So it means every time it will be a square. So later you will figure it out why, what the input means. So we place some like one by one by one cubes on this axis. So it's like this uh, uh, three dimensional graph, right? And then each value V equals to grid IJ represents a tower V cubes placed on top of a grid cell IJ. So what that essentially means is if you see an input like this, so that just means that's a um, three by three matrix, two dimensional arrays, that's it. So essentially you can say, okay, I have a grid like one, one, it, de it depends on how you wanna call which one is a row, which one's column. Normally what I do is, so this is just a row and then here's column like this is a column zero column one column two and then this is a row I, I like to do it like row one i'm sorry row zero row one and row two something like that so it basically is one one that means element is zero um and then so it's basically asking you to do a three view like projections so if you're not familiar what what this projection means so this is like if you are i call it like a down view it's like from the top you look down it looks like this and i call it like a direct view so normally people let's say you put your viewpoint here so this is a direct view and then uh, it will basically result in this but this is the other way around so he was like looking through from here to here and then you see this view and then the other is a side view so basically you see from x to z like x z and then you see okay this is this is and this is the area and then this is area so um the question is to find all the areas from this three view so essentially this is called a multi-view projection right so if you're not familiar with that this is in the graphical um graph engineering graphical graphics so you, if you are if you ever go uh undergrad study in china uh, you will you will learn this course called the uh, engineering graphics. It's called the Gongcheng Tuxue. So you will know like the three view. What are the three view means? Direct view, down view, and then also side view. And then the problem is now translates into okay, what? How do you calculate the area? So you just do the, this three view separately. So for the down view, you directly look look from top to down, and then because it's a square. So each one counts for one. So it doesn't really matter what the value is. So the value is basically the height, right, of each of the each of the things. So uh, each of the cube. And uh, so in this case, for the down view, all you need to do is, so essentially this is a two-dimensional array. And for the down view, all you need to do is count the non-zero element. So if the element is zero, then you don't count the value. For example, I think they have an example, right? Um, yeah, like this example. So you can only count the down view, you count it as like eight because the middle one is zero. So there's no element when you look, look, top, from, uh, look from top to down. And then we will look at the, the direct view. So the direct view, if you look, look at it this way, this is the YZ is what I mean by direct view. It's literally in a two dimensional array, you will find the largest element of each, of each row. So each row, the largest element, and then because the shadow will cover each other. So you think about it, if you are here and then you look at it here, and then this is row. So for each row, the largest element will be the height. Yes, will be the height of this thing. And then it's the side view. 
So the side view Ah, uh, sorry, this is a column, I think. Yeah. So if you you're here, you look at it this way, the largest view of each column, because this is a row, row, row. And then for each row, you, you want to look at the largest column. And then the side view is from here to here, is in this two-dimensional array, you want, you want to find the largest element in each row. So basically, you go through each column, and then you find the largest element in each row. And you sum them together, and then you basically put the total sum, and then that's it. So it's very simple three for loops, but this problem I really, really, I don't think it will, it will get anything from the interview because it just takes so much time um, to understand the question, and the coding part is actually pretty easy. So it doesn't really, it's not a really good interview question. So, okay, all right. Thanks a lot for watching.